Hello everybody, this is Next Exhale, and I want to show you today how you can use a bush honeysuckle to make a simple bushcraft slash survival whistle. This is a bush honeysuckle you're looking at here. We're going to take a closer look at it. The bush honeysuckle is an invasive species in my part of the country here in Kentucky, and it grows like crazy. It overshadows everything and kills out a lot of the native species. So it constantly has to be cut back. But if you take a look here at the bark, it's got kind of a striation pattern to it. The leaves are considered to be kind of an egg shape. And uh, this is a very resilient plant. Oftentimes you'll find it having red berries on it. They can be other colors. Um, here's another look. And these can get quite large, between uh, 10 and 15 feet. See that? I just cut this branch off this bush honeysuckle. There's a series of hollow chambers in there. That's what's going to enable us to use this plant to make a whistle. So, once you find the plant, you need to cut off a branch, a small type branch. I'm going to use my saw, my Swiss Army knife, to uh, cut one off here. see the hole in there. Cutting off a long section here. And guys, you can do this with just a, a knife, a good sharp knife. But it's a little awkward for me to do with this camera set up. There we go. see the hole in that end as well. Now remember these series of chambers are separated by walls. So even though there's a hole in this end and a hole in this end, this hole does not run completely through here because there's walls every so often in here. I'd say this one is probably right in this area here. So if you blow in this end, no air actually will come out the other end. If you cut off a piece and air goes all the way through it, then you need to start over and get a longer piece because you won't be able to make your whistle. So now that I know that there's a chamber in here, all I need to do is start cutting my whistle. And you do that by making a series of stop cuts, basically. You're cutting in at an angle. If you can see that there, I'm cutting in at an angle. And then I'm cutting straight down to that angle, like that, and it notches it out. Now you see here that the inner chamber is being exposed now. See that? So we've actually got down to the chamber. Once we do that, you want to be careful not to cut too much or your whistle won't work. Now I'm just cleaning that chamber out a little bit with the tip of my mora and I'm going to test it. I'm going to blow in this end and see if it makes a whistle. Close but no cigar. So we're going to come in Shave a little bit more off. Try again. You 
can see the angle I've got now. There we go. We're getting it now. Now this whistle is not going to be as efficient as the survival whistles you get in the store. So you actually do have to blow harder than you typically do with a manufactured whistle. So keep that in mind guys. That was excellent. Now we've got a very loud whistle. And, uh, you know, if you want to clean this up, you can go ahead and strip all the bark off of it if you want. Uh, you don't have to. You know, it works fine just like this. Um, obviously, if you find where the, that wall is, you can trim off the excess. But, uh, you know, for a survival whistle, why would you want to risk cutting all the way through that wall and having to start over on your whistle? If you got a whistle that works, and this one obviously does now, I would just use it. So there you go. A bushcraft survival whistle that you can use in a pinch. If your equipment is broken or you forgot your whistle or it was lost, you can make one by finding a bush honeysuckle and using a good sharp knife like a mora also a good little fun project that you can do with your kids to teach them how to use a knife and get them into bush bushcraft and a good skill for them to have as well there you go Hey guys, thanks for watching.